Welcome back to a new episode here in Swabi. In today's episode, it's gonna be sort of like a continuation, continuation of of the photo slideshow transitions uh, here in DaVinci. So today is gonna be the three D sort of like style ones that I had that I've already showed you showed you in the previous video. So let's just start right away. As always, we're gonna do our cut. And after we do our cut. After we do our cut, we're gonna create a new fusion clip. Then we're gonna go right into our fusion clip. And in our fusion clip, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a 3D plane for these. I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of here. We're gonna create two 3D planes, one for one for each picture. Then we're gonna merge them. There. And then we're gonna create the render and then connect it here and that's fine we can also create the camera that we're gonna use for this so right now we're not really seeing anything right so we're gonna go here and click on the two screens so we can see and select number one here so we can see the whole scene right here and right here we can see these and it doesn't look right so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna drag the camera out until we sort of like have that full image ready. And I guess it looks like it's right in the in the lines are hitting the edges, so it's fine. And then we're gonna grab the picture that goes first. Um, the picture that goes first is going to be in the front and then the second picture is gonna be right in the back okay so we're gonna put our pictures where they belong so first is gonna be this image plane that's the second picture we're gonna move it backwards and I think here for now it should be fine and the way that we're gonna do this is before we do anything let's go back to this image plane right here and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna change the pivot point so for that we want this pivot point to be right at the at the lower edge so we're gonna go here and change the y and we can change perspective to front and then we're gonna see that our our pivot point is in the right place holding control and moving the slider is gonna make it um have more like little changes rather than big slide and change of values okay all right so then the first thing that we want to do is we're gonna go here to frame four we're gonna select our camera here and on their camera we're gonna create a keyframe for the translate group then on frame let's say 16 i think 16 is fine we're gonna create a keyframe again but we're gonna press zero here so we have the full image of our second picture right here. Then what we need to do is, first of all, we're gonna, we gotta make sure that our second picture is like right on the edges that we have. Okay, so what we're gonna do next then is we're gonna drag these and make sure that's right on the intersections of the camera sides, right? I think that's fine we're gonna create a keyframe for that image plane um, right here again we're gonna create that keyframe here on the translate group of that but before that we're gonna see that our camera is moving forward and what we want to do is we want this one to sort of like fall so right here at frame like right before it starts to get too close let's say at eight Eight, eight. Why am I saying at frame <laughs> at frame eight? Uh, we're gonna animate the rotation here, group, and then at frame it ends. I think at sixteen. So at frame fourteen or thirteen, which is two, 13 I think, is fine. We're gonna animate the x axis, and we're gonna press it to be nine minus ninety. And we can see here we have this empty space uh, and for that we're gonna go back here and we're gonna animate these uh, image plane to be closer 
So we want we already see these thing here is as empty. So before we see that, we need to put this image right as close as possible so that it covers that area. And I think that's fine. Then we're gonna check the next frame and make sure that all of them are sort of like fitting in the right position. And then we can go back and check. And yeah. Then you can also play around with the splines and all that stuff if you want, but I'm not gonna do that now because then I'm gonna have to tweak all these little details again. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you obtain these sort of like the camera sliding in and the cam the other image rolling under the camera. If it is too fast, you can just increase the amount of frames that are in between these and that's how you slow down that process. And that's pretty much it for that one. So for the next one, which is number five or the second 3D one, we're gonna do our frames again, our fusion clip again. And in this fusion clip, what we're gonna do is again with the 3D, uh, on the 3D mode, we're gonna create two image planes one and then two and then connect it so we can see the end result whoop forgot the render and we're gonna see it here then we can bring these a little bit closer to here and i'm gonna tell you why in a second so first we're gonna create another merge and on this merge we're gonna create a camera and then we can see the whole scene set up. And we're gonna move our camera so that it's positioned right on the, sort of like having the, it's positioned in the right place, right? So that our, that our images fit the screen perfectly. And that's where we have it. Okay, then the next thing that we're gonna do is the second image that we have, uh, which is the one that comes last. We're gonna grab that image plane and we can move the pivot point right away. You can do that first or you can do that later. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna do it first. We're gonna bring that pivot point right down like we did the previous one and try to make it be right on the edge of our image plane. Then we're gonna bring this back up Whoop, that's a wrong image plane, but the way to fix this is we're just gonna change it like that. Easy, not having to do the whole thing again, right? So, yeah. So we're gonna change this one, go up, and you can change it to front view again so we can sort of like adjust our image to be in the right position. We want it to be right on the edge of the other one. And then we also want it to be a little bit to the side. Okay, so it seems that that image is a little bit smaller, I guess. Uh, so it's fine, it doesn't really matter, okay. Then we're gonna go back to perspective. And here, we're gonna change our rotation point, the X, to minus 90. That's gonna add sort of like that um, rectangle cube, I don't know what you call that. And that's what we have. So how do we animate the whole thing falling forward? And you can add more copies and make a full rectangle uh, and have four different images and then just sort of like make it bounce forward, right? Um, so the way that we're gonna animate this is by using this merge node. And why this merge node? Because this is gonna move the whole thing together. And that's why we had this camera here and this other one, because otherwise the camera would have moved too. But before we animate this, what we need to do is we're gonna change the pivot point again and we're gonna try to put it right in the middle of these two. So we're gonna go to top and we're gonna move the depth or the Z or Z um, value right here and try to make it be right in the middle 
and then we're gonna go back to perspective and see if it is and that seems to be right okay then what we're gonna do to animate this is pretty simple we're gonna go from four here and we're gonna animate the rotation right um, and we're gonna animate the X rotation so we're gonna go keyframe here and then at frame 15 we're gonna animate these for a 90 degrees turn and you might have seen here is not like completely perfect yet because we might have not put our camera or the size of the image planes are like a little bit different right so the way to fix this is just bring the camera a little bit closer and that should solve the issue so let's just go back here whoops and now we have these weird sort of like cube that's in space uh rotating the image that we have and you can make it go faster or, or slower uh it all depends on what you want to do right so let's check this out and that is pretty much how you do that second 3d rotation of sort of like a cube um style um yeah so those were the two ways that i mentioned in the previous videos and those are two interesting ways that you can use to create some sort of transition for either your slideshow presentation photo presentation or you can add videos and use them as transitions for your videos too if you want to just make sure that you don't overwhelm your videos with transitions but these are two 3d sort of ways that you can use this and don't forget to check out our third one i guess you could call it which was the one on the freebie wednesdays video it's sort of like a 3d board that you can put up to nine images uh and then animate your camera to transition from one of the images to the other one be sure to check that out check that out i'm gonna put the link down in the description for that one and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope i was clear enough and that you understand it if i wasn't clear enough in any way i always appreciate feedback so let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and i hope to see you in the next video here in suave